Hey y'all, it's Mommy Watson and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. If you are new to my channel, first I wanna say thank you so much for subscribing, viewing my content, contributing however you do. If you hit that like button, I appreciate you for it as well. Please also consider hitting that bell notification button so you all will be alerted whenever I post, okay? And let's just hop right into the message. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know at this time. I come to you on behalf of my collective Holy Spirit. What is the collective message at this time? What type of insight and guidance would you have for us at this time? Now, I just heard that I need to get an oracle message before I started. And I normally don't do this, but if you book a reading with me, you know that I incorporate oracle messages and other things into my personal readings. But I just heard we need to get an oracle message. Let's just see. Let's see, y'all. Mm. Doing something new, Holy Spirit. What's the oracle message for us before we start, Holy Spirit? What is the message from the universe at this time from you through me, please, and thank you. For those people listening to the sound of my voice, what is the oracle message at this time? Be a comfort to yourself. On the bottom is honor your inner child. <clears throat> okay? Comfort is an inside job. Speak to yourself in a loving, positive way. Do something that nourishes you. Know in this moment all is well. Honor your inner child says, focus on your inner child's needs. Is your inner child afraid or in need of more playtime? Cherish this precious being within you. So someone is being urged to go inside themselves, comfort themselves, pay attention to their needs, examine their inner child, honor what may not have been nurtured, as a child here, ooh, look what came out. Honor your sensitivities. Your sensitivities are a gift. Be proud of who you are. Put your hand over your heart and inwardly say, I embrace my loving heart. Okay, so let's stop there. Let's stop there. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know about this energy someone is not honoring their inner child someone is not pay, paying attention to their personal needs they're looking for other people to comfort them instead of comforting themselves i'm hearing so what do you want us to know holy spirit please and thank you <clears throat> what is the message regarding this oracle energy that's out here on the board be a comfort to yourself Honor your inner child and honor your sensitivities. Let's see here. Ooh. Well, let's do one more shuffle, y'all. Someone feels stuck. Someone feels like a child stuck in a grown up's body. Nine of Swords and flew out here. Okay. So whoever this is, they do feel neglected. They feel like no one ever paid attention to their needs, what it was that they felt, how they felt, what they wanted out of life, what mattered to them. And they've been looking for someone to be a comfort to them in this way all of their life. Okay. Okay. We have the will of fortune. I feel like <clears throat> the person who, the most previous person that they were looking to be a comfort to them, that person has decided to be with somebody else here, okay? And whoever this is, they put a lot of faith and hope into having this connection with this person with having this person as some type of safety net or security blanket. But that connection has been broken down. 
that person didn't want to handle the burden, the codependency, this is codependency here that I'm picking up on. This person is extremely codependent. Whoever this is that has moved away from them and, and decided to do life with somebody else, they try to be a comfort to this person, but you know, how do you expect anyone to love you if you don't love yourself? How do you expect anyone to want to be around you when you don't really like being around yourself? It's that type of energy I'm picking up on. This person felt sorrowful, regretful, bitter, depressed even when they tried to comfort this other person because I still feel like they were rejected somehow by this nine of swords. The Holy Spirit says that's the truth. We got judgment right behind that with temperance. This emperor energy here, I feel like for a long time he did try to comfort and nurture this energy. He tried to be there for her. He tried to balance the scales in her life, balance the rocky waters in her life with this temperance energy. He put in work to help this woman even awaken and become enlightened to her own needs, okay? Like this man tried to help this woman become more independent, to become, to grow up, to honor who she was and insist that others respect her in that light as opposed to looking for people to coddle her. I'm hearing all of this, like this man really tried now, whoever this emperor is. This man did at one point believe that he was supposed to be on the top of the wheel with this nine of swords. But a change needed to be made because in him trying to lift her up, it was pulling him down. And this man has left that connection behind for good. He instinctively knew that if he continued to take this action with this woman, this is where he was going to be on his last leg, you know, in a similar mind state as she is. If this is a she, I feel like this is a woman. I'm just looking at this Caucasian woman looking back at me on this card right here. And I'm looking at this Caucasian man on this emperor card. Okay, this could be a white couple. We have eight of swords, but either way, this man fell trapped. He felt trapped now by this connection. And for a while there, this man did invest effort, y'all. He did. We have the Hierophant. I think he realized that this, this person's needs far surpass anything that he could help her do on a personal intimate level that she may have needed some type of wise counsel with this hearth in here because she was bitter she was bitter even when she was winning she still felt like she was losing because i'm telling you these two people could have been on the top of the wheel with each other remained on the top of the wheel they were at some point on the top of the wheel this was a good positive connection initially or it could have evolved into that. Like they had potential, okay? But the action that she took, it debilitated the connection. It broke this man down to the point where he had to save himself with this six of swords, even though he felt like this was his divine counterpart. This man truly did feel like this was his divine feminine. She out here is an empress now. But she constantly was in the tower, in despair. That looked like the little girl on this Honor Your Inner Child card. It looked like the same little girl. I hate to even move the card, but I'm going to move it. That looked like the same little girl. Okay? So this woman was a child trapped in a woman's body. She never got to grow up. She never got the care and nurturing that she needed. 
as a child. Okay, and this had a very wayward effect on her, her relationships with people. Her relationship with her divine masculine here. So this man has moved on and this woman is in despair. But the Holy Spirit is saying it's time for you to be a comfort to yourself, baby. It's time for you to honor your sensitive sensitivities and honor your inner child. You can't sit up and wait on whoever you in a relationship with to make you happy. If you're not happy with yourself, how can you expect someone else to make you happy? It's just not possible. Eventually, this person is going to grow resentful of you because it's like talking to a brick wall, trying to convince someone how special they are if they don't see it themselves. Two of Pentacles. This man was try tired of trying to juggle this woman's emotions. And he was juggling for a while. He had committed to trying to help her see the best in herself. We have the Six of Pentacles. He had committed to giving to and receiving from this woman. So why is she, what happened as a child or what's going on with her that she's stuck in this energy, Holy Spirit? Because this man did try. We got death out here, maybe the loss of someone. The end of, we got the Ace of Pentacles though. The loss of her abundance. Hmm. The loss of an opportunity. The loss of a child. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Knight of Pentacles. With justice on the bottom. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Cups. I feel like this woman is bitter and upset and angry and she feels like someone didn't choose her. Someone chose to balance their life in another direction. I feel like this happened at a younger age, but I'm not picking up necessarily like a teenager, okay? Because the girl on this death card, she not necessarily a young child. She looked like a teenager on this death card. So maybe that that catapulted what was already happening within her from her childhood. But this woman feels like an opportunity came to an end for her, an opportunity to be with somebody. She planned to have justice with someone and she was hoping that they would choose her, but they didn't. And this, I feel like that in itself really defragmented this woman. Okay, it really broke something. That was the that was the straw that broke the camel's back. So she had put up with a lot. She had been enduring a lot. She had been holding in a lot from her childhood. But there was a relationship, someone that she viewed, I'm seeing, she viewed whoever this was from her teenage years as her divine counterpart. Clarify, Holy Spirit. She was hoping that that would be the person that she would end up with. Page of Pentacles. But this person went in another direction. Okay? She did. Here go the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands is behind that with the Chariot. This woman had another divine counterpart in mind, y'all, okay? At a younger age. And this person went in another direction. They chose someone else. But this is who she felt like she was supposed to do life with and it didn't work out. The Nine of Pentacles is falling right up under the Empress. I don't know who watched me out of this scenario. But if it is this divine feminine, I feel like the Holy Spirit is saying it's time for you to heal yourself. Stop looking 
to other people, counterparts, relationships, to fix this hole in your heart, to fix this emptiness that you feel from not receiving the attention, the care that you deserved even as a child, from not receiving that ideal counterpart that you had so much faith and hope for as a teenager here. You know, just because this person didn't choose you doesn't mean that it was something wrong with you, okay? And maybe this woman feels that way. Clarify, Holy Spirit. King of Wands. This masculine didn't choose her. I'm telling y'all, she thought this was her divine counterpart because the King of Wands is falling right up underneath the Emperor. She thought this other person from her teenage years was her divine counterpart, but it didn't play out that way. And this woman has gone grown resentful and bitter over time. So this new man who came in, who actually is coming out as a divine counterpart as well, he saw the potential of the relationship and he tried to honor this woman. But her past pain, two, two of swords, made her unable to see the beauty in this union with this four of wands here. She couldn't see the forest for the trees, y'all. Mm. And she cut this man down. I'm telling you, this man put up with a lot. Nothing was never right. Even when he would do what she wanted, somehow it still wasn't right. And that's because she's resentful about a failed relationship with the King of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, who she thought was her true divine counterpart. We have the Four of Swords. So this man has laid that to rest. I mean, like, what else he supposed to do? Okay, and I feel like she upset because he didn't let it to rest. But baby, you had exactly what you always wanted as a young child, even as a teenager. You wanted somebody, a divine being, a divine masculine, to commit to you, to give you this will of fortune, this four of wands, justice, and this ace of pentacles even, to see you as a, the divine feminine you are, but she still got some healing to do, for sure. Because I'm telling you, somebody can see who you truly are all day. They can see your beauty. They can see your worth. They can see your value. But if you don't see your beauty, your worth, your value, you know, it falls on deaf ears. They can't convince you to love yourself. How can, how can somebody convince you to love yourself? Okay, that's too many cards. That was about five cards. No, sir, Holy Spirit. Can I get one? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Eight of Pentacles, you got to put the work in on yourself, okay? 1818. You can't expect somebody to do, she wants somebody to honor her inner child. She wants somebody to spoil her. She not, not just spoil her, but I am here and spoil her to tend to her needs, to Give her, give her what she wants because maybe she felt like she didn't receive that as a child, okay? She wants someone to honor her sensitivities, what matters to her. And maybe she didn't receive that as a child either as well as overall comfort and love. But you can't be no spoiled brat or give the man who's trying to give you that a hard time or he gonna move on. With this eight of wands. Okay. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else here? Ten of Pentacles. He's going to move on to a more equally yoked partnership. Someone who's going to give to him as much as they receive from him. Someone who's going to pour into him and not just strip and take everything out. She was draining this man to the point that he had to end it because he could see how karmic this was going to end up being. He could see it. He knew it was time to let this connection go. So the Holy Spirit is telling this divine 
feminine, you know, you need to go back to the drawing board when it comes to your healing because there is something about your childhood that you haven't faced, that you haven't gotten over, that you haven't released, that you overall have not healed from, and it's keeping you from having success in ending these karmic cycles in your relationships, okay? 2022 was on the clock when I was saying that. So I'm going to end it here. I'm going to drop the mic. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Before I close, I'm here and I need to get one more oracle message. So let's just see. Let's see what the final message from the universe is. Holy Spirit, what is the final oracle message before I close? Please and thank you. What is the final message that you would like for us to receive at this time? Holy Spirit, what is the final message here? Ooh, reclaim your power. And I'm dropping the mic on that, okay? Do not give your power away to anyone. Say to yourself, I am strong and capable. I can approach this situation with confidence and skill, okay? It's time for you to recognize the power within yourself, to grow up, to release this inner child that's keeping you from being your best person, being the best person that you can be, okay? Do not give your power away to anyone. And this woman was giving her power away to whoever she was in a connection with, hoping that they would be able to give her the energy and the light that she needed. But only you can do that for yourself before you can expect anyone else to do that for you, okay? So that's it. That's all, y'all. But again, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.